this video we install the local wp so in now we need to run it and create a website so click on it hey and here click on create a website so here you can type the name so i'll use it's osman and if you want to switch to advanced options or you want to see then you can choose this option by default the local site name will be it's Usman whatever name you choose dot local and here it shows the path where it will save on your local machine so I will just stick with default options and click on continue so it, it automatically selected a PHP 7.3.5 web server nginx and MySQL version 8.0.16 so if you want to customize it then click on custom and wait for a few moments for the options okay so i want to use some php 7.4.1 so i will choose it and i want to use uh, here you can see i have two options i want to use apache web server or i want to use nginx so i'll stick with nginx and um, and here you can select different options but for now i will proceed with preferred or default option so click on continue and here you have to type the WordPress username so I'll use local and here you have to type the password so I just type the password and if and here you have you can set the WordPress email so I will stick with default one and again you can click on advanced options so is it a WordPress multi site no so I will use uh, default option and click on add site and wait for a few moments okay so choose it allow access it's downloading wordpress from official wordpress repository it will take a few moments so um, let the installation or download process complete so here it if you want to visit this website click on upon click on this um, view site button it installed and created this website if you want to access the WP dashboard then you can click on this admin button or you can simply go to uh, Thai website name which is it's usman.local and slash WP dash admin and here we need to enter the username and password so username was local and the password was localhost slash one and here you can see we just logged in and here you can see some updates are available so I'll just click on update and make sure that you have everything up to date so uh, it's it's downloading version 5.5.1 which is latest version as as of recording so it's updated to WordPress 5.1 so we need to perform a few settings more so click on setting and click on permalink and change it to post which is already set and we need to make sure the themes are all are also up to date so I'll I'll update 2020 the theme uh, updated successfully so now click on dashboard and click on home and click on site health status and click on visit the uh, site health screen so here you can see it shows that we are using PHP 7.3 7.3.5 which is currently set here and we are using a web server as nginx so let me show you so click on info and click on server tab and here you can see that we are using PHP 7.3 and we are using nginx as web server so in next videos we will play with different features of WP local